I started my first job in tech, actually every time I start another new job in tech, I feel like I don't know anything. This feeling was especially strong early in my career when I was fresh out of college and hadn't actually had a lot of experience yet. Sure, I had some internships under my belt, but my first job was working on a team where I'd never even coded in their programming language. So needless to say, I felt so lost. At this point in my career, everything felt really intimidating. I felt like I needed to prove my worth, that I was worth the offer they gave me. And I wanted to prove that I belonged there and deserved a seat at the table. But even I didn't really know whether this was true or not. After all, I was brand new and didn't have any other experiences to compare this to. You might find yourself in this situation. This phenomenon is called imposter syndrome. Literally, it is the feeling of when you start doubting your own accomplishments and internalizing the fear that you're going to be exposed as a fraud. And it's incredibly common. While imposter syndrome is not specific to the tech industry, I do think it's especially prevalent here. Tech jobs require a lot of skill and knowledge. On average, here are just some of the things that software engineers are responsible for. Everything from standards on how to write code, how the code base is architected, how the team delivers and ships things out into the wild, what the business is like, who the users are and their biggest hurdles, and getting to know coworkers and collaborating effectively with them. Yep, that's, that's a lot. And it can be overwhelming sometimes. But the piece of advice that always really grounds me through all of this is that everyone has their own beginning. So there's no one who knows how to code from the day that we're born or someone who just has this natural talent to conjure up some code from nowhere. Everyone started from scratch. They all started from somewhere and began their journey at a specific point in time. Like think back to when you first started coding. Maybe you were filled with excitement or you were anxiously trying to figure out how for loops work. Either way, you learned how to code, which landed you in this spot right here. And so did everyone else. Some folks are just further ahead in their journeys than others, but there's nothing that says you can't accomplish everything. You can. Everything is just a process. And while it feels like everyone else knows everything, trust me, they probably don't. And as far as starting a new career goes, everyone had their very first full-time software engineering job. As you go on throughout your career, you'll see more and more people have their first days at work and understand that it's a very common experience to feel a little panicked on the first day and that there's nothing wrong with anyone. Another piece of advice for managing that imposter syndrome, find someone you can trust at work to help you manage it. A lot of the feelings associated with imposter syndrome are heightened because you're being critical of yourself and no one is stopping you from doing so. Verbalizing what your worries are to someone and having them keep you in check is a great way to ease your nerves. When I do this, oftentimes I realize I'm being overly critical of myself and that I'm the only person thinking that I can't do this. Having someone pull you out of your own head can help you see and think clearly of what's actually going on. So try combining the skills you learned in our previous section of fostering great relationships with your teammates to what you know now about imposter syndrome. Now, as you work on more projects and start to get the hang of your work, hopefully the imposter syndrome will slowly start to fade with the new confidence that grows in. Imposter syndrome though, sometimes doesn't go away. And like everything else, it's a relationship to manage as you go forth in your career. It's likely that you're always going to be challenging yourself in your work. So start to figure out when and why your imposter syndrome sets in and what helps you the most to manage it. Doing so will enable you to be your best self at work and have a healthy relationship with how you see yourself. All right, well, I hope this section gave you some tools on how to deal with imposter syndrome.